while the Shenzhou 14 mission is a go. And as of this moment, uh, the rocket, the Long March 2F rocket, is adding propellants. And uh, it will be launched into space at 10.44 uh, tomorrow morning. So uh, I think the mission is a go now. And uh, it consists of three crew members, uh, Chen Dong, Liu Yang, and Cai Xuzhe. Uh, much of a much expected uh, crew, Chen Dong, a veteran Taikonauts who uh, served in Shenzhou 11 missions, and Liu Yang, uh, who is also China's uh, first female Taikonauts, uh, served in Shenzhou 9. And uh, Cai Xuzhe, this is his first time into space, one of the uh, um, Taikonauts of second group Taikonauts in China. And they're facing pretty tough uh, missions uh, in their stay, uh, six month stay in orbit. Uh, there will be five dockings. Uh, including two lab modules and uh, one cargo ship Tianzhou 5 and also Shenzhou 15. Uh, so they will shift uh, in orbit and return to Earth uh, in December this year. And uh, well, uh, about, uh, about the, uh, during their stay in orbit, they will help in complete the in orbit construction of China's space station. Uh, that will include um, two major lab modules in the, the installation and also the shifting of these two modules, uh, the Wentian and the Mengtian. Uh, the combination of China's space station will, will be uh, nine different ways. Uh, they will perform with the help of two robotic arms, uh, one uh, in orbit now and another one uh, uh, attached in uh, with the uh, Wentian lab module. And uh, well, uh, the, about the details of this mission, uh, well, this, sports, this small robotic arm, along with the big one, will, will be helping Tacnos to install and also shifting lab modules in space. Uh, the small robotic arm is uh, just a half size of it, but um, with more accurate, uh, accurate, with more accurate operations, uh, and also in, in combination, it will help Tacnos to perform. Uh, also cover the uh, maintenance and also operations in a wider in a wide, lot, wider range, and uh, they will also perform uh, two, two to three times spacewalks, and uh, helping installing uh, 25 uh, science cabinets uh, in space. Uh, in and uh, what the function about the functions of two lab modules that China is going to uh, launch uh, later this year? Uh, the Wen Tian is mainly focused on space life research. And uh, the Meng Tian will be focusing on microgravity experiments. And they will, they will also be uh, expo exposed uh, experiments uh, modules that are helping to testing, uh, de te te testing uh, equipments like uh, materials as well. And uh, later on, there will be also a, uh, uh, well, a space, well, later on, there will be also be a telescope that launched in space to fly along with uh, China's space station. And uh, well, also, about the, uh, the conditions of the Shenzhou 13 mission. Uh, the press conference also mentioned about that. Uh, they returned to Beijing in April and spent a, a month uh, to, uh, re recovering their uh, body. And so far, they have uh, fully, recovered, uh, uh, fully recovered and now into another uh, month of uh, uh, recovering uh, muscle and, uh, bones, uh, and bone conditions. So uh, about the conditions about the Shenzhou 13 crew. And so uh, this is what we learned uh, in the press conference.